What a fitting tribute to someone who certainly has made a significant difference in our world. To make the formal presentation to Honey, Jessica, Micah, and Gabrielle, I am pleased to call upon one of Sharay Tzedek's true friends, Lou Kistenbaum, and the American Committee's Executive Vice President, Erica Frederick, to make the presentation. Honey, will you please, you and Jessica, Micah, and Gabrielle, please join us here at the podium. Ralph and I have been long, long time friends. And we had many, many occasions to spend a lot of time together on certain missions. I remember a mission going to Denmark where, for the Jewish National Fund, where we were received by the people, the government people, and shown the trip which is uh, the work they have done to save the Jews of Denmark, which I'm sure you are all familiar, how they overnight made over 300 families disappear to Sweden. We visited those places and shared the events with some of the people who participated in. We went together to Israel on missions for Jewish National Fund and other organizations where we took people who never been in Israel before to introduce them to what Israel has to offer. Ralph was a very dedicated, quiet, in a quiet way, doing his job to promote anything and everything that Israel had to offer. I could go on, but there is a lot of other things which we heard about him, and he was a single type of individual in a quiet way accomplishing an awful, awful lot. So I would like to make a congratulations and presentation to Honey on this special occasion. Thank you, Paul, for making these words so big that I don't need my glasses. Um, I'm delighted to join all of you this evening for my very first major event as the new Executive Vice President of the American Committee for Shari Zedek Medical Center in Jerusalem. And I can't think of an event that I would rather be at. Tonight we come together <clears throat> to pay tribute to the life of a most extraordinary and inspiring individual. And I am so honored to be part of the celebration. Although I did not have the privilege of personally knowing Ralph Amato, I am very familiar with his many acts of righteousness, loving kindness, and charity, and have been the beneficiary of his philanthropy to other organizations with which I have been associated. His support of his Jewish community and of Israel were only surpassed by his love of his family. Ralph first visited Shari Tzedek Medical Center in Jerusalem while participating on a solidarity mission chaired by his good friends Trudy and Lou Kestenbaum right after the Lebanon War. <clears throat> his respect and admiration for Shari Tzedek were immediate and the financial support he and his family have since offered has helped the hospital provide outstanding medical treatment to the people of Jerusalem, the members of the IDF, and the citizens of Israel. I am told that Ralph and Honey had what was widely known as a mixed marriage. Sephardic Ashkenazi, traditional reform, 
Republican Democrat. Yet as a team, they made a significant difference locally, nationally, and internationally. Having met Honey recently, I know that she misses Ralph greatly, while at the same time, she will continue all of the important work that they shared. The world is a better place because of Ralph's commitment to tikkun, tikkun olam. I join our community in celebrating Ralph's life <clears throat> and offering Honey, Jessica, Micah, and Gabrielle our love and support. It will be my great privilege to partner with the Amato family in the future on behalf of Shara Zedek and the State of Israel. It is now my honor to present to Honey, Jessica, Micah, and Gabrielle this beautiful piece of art by Mordecai ooh, <laughs> Rosenstein. <laughs> um, and why don't we just, I don't know if everybody can see this, but you should come up and look at it It's on afterwards. the screen now. You it's on the it screen. There. There okay. You Let me describe it a little bit to you. It's in the shape of a pomegranate, as I think you all can see, the fruit that stands for fullness and fertility. The words at the bottom, Bayit Shalom, inside the piece of art are the words community, family, and children. The Hebrew at the top, the more Torah, the more life. Also in Hebrew, from Torah, to hupa and doing good deeds. In between are rings for marriage and a tzedakah box for charity. How fitting all the symbols of the Amado's life together and their family's life. The inscription says, celebrating the life of Ralph Amado, Zikrono Livracha, a remarkable man, a most generous man, a wonderful friend, a true mensch. Thank you so much. I just want to thank the, all of you for coming. I want to thank Sherrod Zedek Medical Center for choosing this opportunity to honor the life of Rafi, uh, to honor my family this way. And this particular topic would be something that Ralph would be interested in. The fact that it's an evening of substance so reflects Rafi and his life. And I, I thank the participants in the program as well. Thank you very, very much.